Hello and welcome to Passing News. Today we journey back to a pivotal era of television history to honor the lives and legacies of 25 outstanding men whose performances defined the 1970s, yet whose departures might have gone unnoticed by many of us. These charismatic figures brought adventure, comedy, and groundbreaking drama into our homes, shattering stereotypes and setting new benchmarks for the actors who would follow in their footsteps. Join us as we pay tribute to these pioneers who sculpted a golden age of television, and despite their profound impact, left the spotlight with surprisingly little acclaim. You won't want to miss the untold stories of these legendary actors. Jack Klugman, renowned for his role as the lovably messy Oscar Madison in The Odd Couple, brought humor and relatability to television screens across America. He also starred as the determined medical examiner in Quincy M.E., a show that paved the way for future medical dramas. Klugman's career was marked by his resilience. Despite battling throat cancer, which affected his voice, he continued to out and act. He passed away from prostate cancer on December 24, 2012. Telly Sevalas became a television icon with his portrayal of the bald lollipop toting detective Theo Kojak in the series Kojak. His signature phrase, who loves you baby, became synonymous with the character's suave, confident demeanor. Beyond Kojak, Savalas appeared in numerous movies and TV shows, showcasing his versatile acting skills. He passed away from bladder cancer on January 22, 1994. Harry Morgan was best remembered for his role as the wise and compassionate Colonel Sherman T. Potter on the beloved series MASH. His portrayal brought a fatherly and commanding presence to the chaotic backdrop of a mobile army surgical hospital during the Korean War. Before MASH, Morgan had a prolific career in both film and television, including a notable role in Dragnet. He passed away on December 7, 2011, at the age of 96. Before we dive into our next legendary actor, here's a curious question for you. Can you guess the actor who was unexpectedly talented in the art of magic? frequently performing tricks for co-stars and crew on set? Don't go away. The answer is coming up shortly. Bob Crane is best known for his charismatic portrayal of Colonel Robert Hogan in the popular sitcom Hogan's Heroes, which aired from 1965 to 1971. The show, set in a World War II POW camp, allowed Crane to display his comedic timing and likable personality. Tragically, Crane's life and career were overshadowed by his mysterious murder in 1978, a case that remains unsolved to this day. His death at the age of 49 left a shadow over his legacy, yet he is remembered for bringing laughter and lightheartedness to a grim historical setting, showcasing his unique ability to entertain and captivate audiences. George Peppard is widely recognized for his role as John Hannibal Smith in the 1980s action series The A-Team, but his career was vibrant throughout the 1970s with performances in various television movies and miniseries. Known for his rugged good looks and charismatic presence, George brought a dynamic energy to every role he portrayed. He passed away from pneumonia on May 8, 1994, after a battle with lung cancer. Freddie Prinze skyrocketed to fame as the charming young stand-up comedian turned star of Chico and the Man, where he played Chico Rodriguez, a streetwise mechanic with a heart of gold. His comedic talent and magnetic screen presence made the show a hit during the mid-1970s. Tragically, Prince's life was cut short when he died by suicide at the age of 22 in 1977, a loss that deeply affected fans and colleagues. His death marked a significant loss to the entertainment world. James Arness is best remembered for his iconic role as Marshal Matt Dillon in the long-running Western series, Gunsmoke. His towering presence and deep voice made him a definitive figure in American television westerns, embodying the stoic, fair-minded lawman. Arnas portrayed Dylan for two decades, making Gunsmoke one of the longest-running primetime shows in U.S. television history. He passed away from natural causes on June 3, 2011, at the age of 88. Lee Marvin, known for his rugged roles in film, also left a mark on 1970s television through his compelling performances in various TV movies and miniseries. During this decade, he brought his distinctive tough guy persona to the small screen in projects like The Klansman and Sergeant Riker. 
Marvin's commanding presence and deep, authoritative voice made him a standout actor who could convey complexity and intensity with minimal effort. He passed away from a heart attack on August 29, 1987. Marvin's contributions in the 1970s helped cement his legacy as a versatile actor who could dominate both film and television with his powerful performances. Vic Morrow was a prominent figure in 1970s television, best known for his role as Sergeant Chip Saunders in the earlier series Combat. Throughout the 70s, he continued to captivate audiences with a series of gritty, commanding performances in various TV dramas and made-for-TV movies. Morrow's career was tragically cut short during the filming of Twilight Zone the movie, when he and two child actors were killed in a helicopter accident on set in 1982. This event profoundly impacted Hollywood's safety regulations. Robert Reed is best remembered for his role as Mike Brady in the iconic family sitcom, The Brady Bunch, where he played the wise and loving father of a large blended family. Throughout the 1970s, Reed's portrayal brought warmth and a sense of moral integrity to the show, resonating with audiences across America. Beyond The Brady Bunch, he appeared in a variety of TV movies and guest roles, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Reed passed away from colon cancer complicated by HIV in 1992. His legacy is firmly rooted in his role as America's quintessential TV dad, influencing the portrayal of father figures in television for generations to come. Dan Blocker is famously remembered as the gentle giant Hoss Cartwright on the beloved Western series Bonanza. With his warm heart and towering physique, Blocker's Hoss became a symbol of kindness and the gentle side of American masculinity in a genre often dominated by rough characters. Although Bonanza concluded in 1973, Blocker's impact continued throughout the decade due to the show's enduring popularity and syndication. Tragically, his life was cut short when he died from a pulmonary embolism in 1972 at the height of his career. Jim Davis was best known for his role as Jock Ewing, the stern patriarch of the Ewing family in the iconic TV series Dallas. His portrayal of a tough but fair oil baron helped set the tone for what would become one of the most beloved and influential soap operas of the late 20th century. Davis's presence on Dallas during its early years in the late 1970s and early 80s contributed significantly to its success. He passed away from multiple myeloma in 1981 during the show's fourth season. Burgess Meredith enjoyed a prolific career spanning several decades with significant contributions to both film and television. In the 1970s, he was known for his versatile roles in TV movies and miniseries, as well as memorable guest appearances on various television shows. Meredith's distinctive voice and dynamic acting style brought depth to every character he portrayed, from villains to comic roles. He is perhaps best remembered for his recurring role as the Penguin in the classic Batman TV series from the 1960s, which continued to endear him to audiences through syndication into the 70s and beyond. He passed away in 1997 from complications of Alzheimer's disease and melanoma. Ray Walston found fame through his role as the quirky Uncle Martin on the classic sitcom My Favorite Martian, which originally aired in the 1960s, but continued to captivate audiences into the 1970s through syndication. In the 70s, Walston continued to demonstrate his versatile acting skills across a range of TV shows and movies, often playing character roles that leverage his ability to mix seriousness with a touch of whimsy. He was also notable for his role in the TV adaptation of The Incredible Hulk as the antagonistic tabloid reporter Jack McGee. Ray Walston passed away in January 2001. Sebastian Cabot is fondly remembered for his role as Mr. French in the television series Family Affair, where he played the dignified and kind-hearted butler. His portrayal brought a touch of class and warmth to the family sitcom making it a beloved fixture of 1960s television that continued to be popular into the 1970s through reruns. Beyond Family Affair, Cabot also lent his rich, distinctive voice to various narrations and voiceover roles, including the classic Disney film, The Jungle Book, as the voice of Bagheera the Panther. Sebastian Cabot passed away from a stroke on August 22, 1977. Jack Sue is best known for his role as Detective Nick Yamana 
on the groundbreaking sitcom Barney Miller, which portrayed the daily life of a New York City police precinct. His character was beloved for his deadpan humor and memorable one-liners, bringing a lighthearted balance to the often serious themes of the show. Sue's performance helped Barney Miller gain critical acclaim and a dedicated following throughout its run in the late 1970s. Tragically, Jack Sue passed away from esophageal cancer during the show's fifth season in 1979. Guy Williams, renowned for his swashbuckling roles in the earlier series Zorro and Lost in Space, also made notable television appearances throughout the 1970s. While Lost in Space ended in the late 60s, Williams's portrayal of the charming and heroic Professor John Robinson continued to enchant audiences in syndication during the 70s, cementing his status as a pop culture icon. After retiring from Hollywood, Williams moved to Argentina, where he was warmly embraced for his role as Zorro. He passed away from a brain aneurysm in 1989 while living in Argentina. Norman Fell is most famously recognized for his role as Mr. Roper on the hit sitcom Three's Company and its spin-off, The Ropers. His portrayal of the irascible yet endearing landlord won him widespread acclaim and solidified his place in television comedy. Fell's comedic timing and ability to express a range of emotions through subtle gestures made him a standout actor of the 1970s. Before his iconic sitcom roles, Fell appeared in numerous films and television series, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He passed away from cancer in 1998. Michael Conrad is best remembered for his role as the tough but fair sergeant Phil Esterhouse on the critically acclaimed TV series Hill Street Blues, where his signature line, let's be careful out there, became emblematic of the show's gritty realism and compassionate approach to law enforcement. His performance earned him multiple Emmy Awards, highlighting his significant impact on television acting. Conrad's career spanned various roles in film and TV throughout the 1970s, always bringing depth and authenticity to his characters. He passed away from urethral cancer in 1983 during the show's fourth season. Gordon Jump is widely recognized for his role as the bumbling station manager, Arthur Big Guy Carlson, in the popular sitcom WKRP in Cincinnati, which aired during the late 1970s and early 1980s. His character's comedic misadventures and heartfelt moments endeared him to audiences, making him a beloved figure in TV comedy. Jump's portrayal brought both humor and humanity to the role, capturing the quirks and challenges of managing a struggling radio station. Before WKRP, Jump appeared in various television shows and commercials, showcasing his versatile acting skills. He passed away in 2003. Jack Albertson was an accomplished actor whose career spanned several decades, but he is perhaps best remembered for his role as Ed Brown in the television series Chico and the Man. His portrayal of the cranky yet lovable garage owner won him both critical acclaim and a devoted audience during the show's run in the mid-1970s. Albertson's extensive background in vaudeville, film, and television provided him with the versatility to bring depth and authenticity to his characters. He won an Emmy, a Tony, and an Academy Award, making him one of the few performers to achieve the triple crown of acting. Albertson passed away from colorectal cancer in 1981. Will Gear is best remembered for his portrayal of Grandpa Zebulon Tyler Walton in the beloved television series, The Waltons. His warm, wise, and affable character became a staple of the show, embodying the heart and soul of the Walton family throughout its run in the 1970s. Gear's deep-rooted passion for both acting and activism infused his performances with authenticity and vibrancy. Beyond the Waltons, he had a rich career in film and theater, often incorporating his political beliefs into his artistic endeavors. Will Gear passed away from respiratory failure in 1978 during the production of The Waltons. John Colicos is remembered for his compelling portrayals of complex villains in television and film, most notably as the cunning Balter in the original Battlestar Galactica series during the late 1970s. His performance brought a sophisticated malevolence to the character, making him a standout antagonist in the science fiction genre. 
Colicos's theatrical background, characterized by his powerful voice and intense presence, made him a perfect fit for roles that demanded gravitas and depth. Throughout the 1970s, he appeared in various other TV shows and movies, often playing character roles that capitalized on his knack for portraying nuanced villains. John Colicos passed away in 2000 from natural causes. Ross Martin gained widespread acclaim for his role as Artemis Gordon, the resourceful Secret Service agent in the hit 1960s television series, The Wild Wild West. His ability to master numerous disguises and accents made him a key element of the show's appeal. And his character's ingenious gadgets and witty repartee left a lasting impression on audiences. Though The Wild Wild West concluded in the late 1960s, Martin's influence persisted into the 1970s through syndication and his continued presence in various television movies and guest spots, where he often played similarly clever and enigmatic characters. Ross Martin passed away from a heart attack in 1981. Coming back to our earlier question about performing magic on set, the answer is Ross Martin. His love for magic was often showcased on set, where he delighted and entertained with his sleight of hand, further enriching his character's knack for gadgets and disguises. Cleavon Little is perhaps best known for his unforgettable role as Sheriff Bart in the groundbreaking film Blazing Saddles, but his television work in the 1970s also showcased his dynamic range and comedic talent. Little made memorable appearances on various TV shows throughout the decade, bringing his distinctive charm and sharp wit to each role. His television performances included guest spots on popular series like The Love Boat and Fantasy Island, where he often played charismatic and humorous characters, leveraging his theatrical background to great effect. Cleavon Little passed away prematurely from colon cancer in 1992. As we conclude our journey through the lives of these iconic men of 1970s television, we reflect on the profound impact they had on the industry and audiences alike. Each actor brought unique qualities to their roles, influencing the way characters are crafted and stories are told in television to this day. Join our community to uncover more fascinating narratives and celebrate the pioneers who shaped our cultural landscape. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share to help preserve these significant memories. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to sharing more incredible stories with you in our next video.